Hello, this is Adrian Paul from the SAP Customer Experience Group, and I'd like to take a short moment in this video tutorial to describe to you the Group by Range feature in SAP Lumira. This is one of the offerings in the data preparation area of Lumira, and it allows you to quickly and easily reorganize, regroup, uh, measure data into more usable discrete interval format. So the best way to describe this is to actually show you this in Lumira and I've launched Lumira desktop and connected to the sample eFashion dataset which is delivered with the product. We see here the data prepare room and we see the measures, dimensions and raw data from eFashion shown here. So one of the columns here is the margin measure, and we see here we have it in its raw format with the individual values for margin. Uh, say we wanted, in fact, to organize this in more into groups or intervals of, of measure values. How can we do this? Well, we can do this quite easily. Uh, if we click on the margin column and then go to the right-hand side, uh, we see the group by range option here. If we click on this, what happens is Lumira presents us with a pop-up panel and uh, allows us to create a new dimension, which it's given the name of margin intervals. We can change that if we want to, but I'll leave it as is. And it, it analyzes the start value, lowest value, and maximum value for the, the measure in, in concern, uh, concerned and suggests a, a set of intervals in which to group these these values, a, a range and suggested intervals. So um, we are free to use this or change this data. And uh, in fact, I'm going to change the negative start value to start from zero. And perhaps I'll do something else like the, uh, the display formatting of the resulting data. Uh, let me change uh, the number of decimal places from two to zero say OK. And what this will do is, again, create a new dimension called margin intervals, which will have a discrete uh, 13 intervals based upon the specified start and end points for that measure data. So I press OK. And if we scroll to the right in the display data, we see here, in fact, the new margin intervals dimension. And it's got uh, instead of the raw original margin data, we, it's got a set of interval data. Uh, the best way to, sh to see what that means is to go to the visualize room. And let's uh, create uh, a column chart and drag in quantity sold into that chart. And then let's drag in the margin intervals into the x-axis. And we see here uh, what's happened is that we um, we have that data presented in the form of discrete intervals, uh, uh, margin values from 0 to 11,000 and so on, and then 11,000 to 22,000. Everything has been grouped or bucketed into these intervals. So it's a, an easier way of showing the raw margin data. Perhaps a better way of visualizing this is if, um, if I remove the margin intervals from there and drag in product lines and then put in margin intervals as the legend. We see here, again, we have the uh, interval uh, ranges here in the legend. Um, perhaps we can drag more into that and uh, filter on that. To see that more closely, we see the individual margin intervals uh, in different colors corresponding to the legend. And again, we s that gives us a better and perhaps clearer insight into the margin data. We can see how quantity sold is varying by the individual sales margins. So uh, hopefully that has shown you how quickly and easily it is uh, in Lumira to be able to reorganize your mar margin or measure data into more discrete and understandable intervals. Thank you for your time.